welcome back to another weekly vlog, another week, another vibe with us. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a great week or had a great week because technically you guys see this on Sunday. But today's Monday and I'm currently driving uh, to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm driving to Lancaster. Is it Lancaster or Lancaster? Is it Cersei Lannister, Lancaster? Like I don't know, but I'm driving up there. Um, I have like 32 minutes to go, me and the Zoster, you know, me and my little shadow back here, my sidekick. Um, we're driving out here. He's not going to turn it down. We're driving out here to go to um, the Crate and Barrel outlet and the West Elm outlet. And I think they have a Pottery Barn, but I don't know what I would get out of Pottery Barn. But I was like, you know what, before I even buy the bed for, I wanted from West Elm that I told you guys was made to order. It's going to take five weeks before I order my couch. Let me just go see what the outlets have. Like, I don't have nothing better to do anyways with my time. So why not drive an hour and some change away? So, I get so overstimulated. Check on your friends with kids. We're not okay. I can't even think straight. Um, but yeah, I was like... I don't have nothing to do let me just drive out there maybe i'll find like something on a really really good deal so that's what we're doing today all right we made it to the west elm outlet i gotta kind of rush because it took me a little bit longer than i expected to get out here but there's west elm and pottery barn here so we're gonna do those and then we'll go to the crate and barrel one so let's go cue the montage All right, <laughs> I can't see. All right, Crate and Barrel up next. Let's go. I'm stressed, y'all. I'm stressed. The clock is ticking, and they got stuff, and I just, I don't know. I'm indecisive, and I don't got nobody telling me what decisions to make, so I'm stressed. friends it's wednesday you guys didn't see me i'm making your food oh i just gotta oh oh what is that that hurts um i didn't come on yesterday because i quite honestly just was like in a mood uncle of mine passed away earlier this week um someone that like i just grew up always around um like my dad and stuff and then um the weather has just been trash ever since then. It's just been raining nonstop every day. So I just kind of took some time off. I um, just had like a day and a half to myself. I'm cooking it. You got to wait a minute. I can't make it hurry up. I know you're so upset. I'm just sitting here eating like my brunch because I just woke up. I'll do my hair and stuff. You 
you are cursing me out, aren't you? All right, I got a little bit of peace and quiet time there. Why I always got a million hair ties on my arm. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, kind of just took the day off. I didn't want to like force myself to be on camera necessarily. Um, and I don't know. It's like when you get like that type of news and you're just like, ugh, like and you just realize how short life is and how important it is to take care of your health. And then on top of it, like there's no sun. I just was like, I, I was tired. Like I was pooped mentally and physically yesterday. Um, I did have a couple things I wanted to show you guys that I got in the mail. My cuticle is like lifting. I need to do my nails so bad. My nails were so beautiful and long and they have all slowly just started cracking. So that's been fun. Um, but I got a couple swatches in last week. I don't think, did I show it in last week's vlog? I can't remember. I think I did film it and then I just didn't include it because the vlog was so long. Um, but I got the swatches in from West Elm for the bed. I think this weekend I'm going to ride out to the other two Crate and Barrel outlets. Just like, why not? Um, and then also go to the Restoration Hardware outlet. And then if nothing shakes from those, order the bed I want. Um, so... This is in the color Dove, and then this is Boucle, and then this is White. I think I'm going to go with it in white. I do like the Boucle, but I think that I would get sick of this material. Um, I think it's super, super trendy, but I don't think it's like a forever kind of thing. So when you're spending like $2,000 on a bed, I'm like, let me just get something that is going to go with all of my ups and downs, you know? So I think I'm going to go with the bed in this white. It has like specks of gray and like tan in it, so it's super, super um subtle and it's not like a stark white which i like it's more like a creamy color so i feel like it's kind of cozy and you guys know that the couch swatch was this one so they're like all kind of in the same color family and i just plan to incorporate like lots of woods greenery stuff like that so i just wanted to update you guys on that but i was gonna go to the outlets yesterday but the rain i just can't do the rain um and it's like cold again i feel like it went from being 70 degrees back to the 40s so that sucks with rain like we just cannot catch a break here on the east coast um so i think this weekend i'm gonna just do that I'm just wake up go to the crate because there's two of them in jersey go to one drive to the other and then go to the restoration harbor outlet and then after that, I'm just done looking. Just going to order the things that I was planning to. Um, I got some PR from a company called Swede. Um, these are like all from companies that reach out to me from um, ShopMy. I had talked about ShopMy a couple of vlogs ago. I'll link it down below if you're kind of unfamiliar. But it's basically like an affiliate linking thing where you could create like your homepage and like show your videos, your YouTube videos, um, create shelves of your favorite items, like a storefront basically. But a lot of companies reach out to send me, like, their PR and stuff. Like, I got, like, um, REM, like, REM, I guess, from Ariana Grande from there. Um, I got, like, a lot of body care. Necessaire sends me their stuff. So, I do like it. Um, I'll have my invitation link if you're, like, also a content creator and you want to check them out. But anyway, so from Swede, they sent me um, a lip liner. This is in the color barely there so i'm guessing it's like a natural color oh this is a really nice packaging that's actually really stinking cute oh this is a nice color that's actually really nice it's like a pinky mauve um and it's a twisted one this is really nice packaging i'm not even gonna lie i wasn't in, i don't know with lip, like lip liners i feel like they all like kind of look the same but i actually enjoy like that gold with the color on the body of it they sent me their pro eyelash serum I was super excited about this one because, yeah, I need it. Um, you guys know I don't really get my eyelashes done anymore, so I was excited to be sent this. This one's cute. I feel like that's when I thought everything was going to be gold. They said, surprise. Um, oh, so I guess you just go on the lash line. Did I just do that with no mirror? Yeah, because I'm a beast. Um, so I'll use this. I'll let you guys know how this goes. If I see any changes. Um and my lashes like if they grow if they're fuller stuff like that but you guys see me all the time so you guys will probably see if they change anyways so i was excited about this one they sent me their mascara i love receiving mascaras and pr these days because since i don't get my eyelashes done i love trying new ones um i'm not gonna open it just because like once you open the mascara that's when 
like the life of it starts to activate. So far, I've been using the YSL Lash, Lash Clash and the REM Beauty one. And together, I do really like them. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to try that one. They sent me a eyeliner. It's in the color bright. So I'm guessing like a creamy white. I don't really wear eyeliner that often. Um, yeah, it's just a nice like nude beige. I know the girlies love a good beige eyeliner just scares me though because I'm not used to wearing it. Like if I put a black eyeliner on, I'm like, whoo. If I put a white, I'm like, whoo. So I don't really use them too often. And the last thing we got is something designer. Oh my gosh, this is such a long awaited thing. It came in a white shipping box. Did you guys see that? And I think that was, oh, did you guys see that? So I've been wanting these shoes for so freaking long. I was going to get them last summer. Um... But I was getting them from London and I wasn't the one paying for it. So I was so scared that they weren't going to fit. Um, and like because the tax on these, like the surcharge was crazy when they were so highly coveted. Um, they were basically selling for double the price. So when I was going to get them from London from a personal shopper, I believe it was like 1400 like British pounds. Like something astronomical for these shoes because they had to source them. And I was like, you know what, it's not that serious like. That just is a lot to me for like a shoe. Um, and then the other day, I was just like, it popped in my mind. I was like, let me just see what's on the website. I go in there, they got the shoe in stock. Okay, cool. A pair of shoes from Hermes. Comment down below what you think I got. It's probably so obvious um, because of the box. But I'm so excited. You guys know. I don't shop in the winter. But baby, when it's time to have these toes out. I'm a, I'm a shop. I'm going to buy me a shoe, okay? I got a pair of the Chaprays in the all black on black. And I'm so excited to have these because you guys know I just love a good dad sandal. I have the Louis Vuitton ones and I have the Fendi ones. And I saw the Bottega came out with a pair. The only pair that I don't ever like, mm, if I need it, is the Chanel ones. Because they're just so high that I think they're doing drugs with that price. Like $14.50 for a shoe is crazy. Like, that's somebody's rent. Like, on a shoe. I mean, 910 is crazy, too. But, like, under under 1000 I can justify. Anything over 1000 for a shoe, I think is insane. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, I got the black on black. I got a 38. Like I said, they fit perfect. Um, and because it is a dash shoe, I feel like it's okay if it has a little bit of wiggle room. But the 37, it was so snug. Like, my foot was sitting on top of this. And if you can see, it's, like, raised. So you can't necessarily get away with it being a perfect fit. Like, it looks too small. Yeah, I did a lot of research on the size before I bought them, but everybody, everybody's foot is different. Some people have narrow feet. Some people have wide, um, like, the front of their foot. Just really depends. But I want a whole size up and no complaints from me. So this is my third dad sandal, and I can't wait to wear her with my white toesies. She's so cute. It's such a beautifully made shoe. Like, I've never seen one in person, not even on somebody else's foot. And, like, the leather craftsmanship is, like, insane if you could really see, like, how high quality it is. And I just love this all matte black. So, yeah, I got a pair of those. It's almost time to have my toes out. Love toe season. It's just, oh, I thrive in the summertime. I hate winter. Like, you would think I live in Miami the way I hate winter. Like, you know how they always say, like, oh, the real fashion girlies get dressed in the winter? Yeah, some of us just don't like winter. Like, I don't care to buy coats. I don't care to buy clothes. I'd rather spend my money on stuff like this. Um, good morning, guys. Good morning to you all. It's Thursday morning. You guys already know what I just did. Drove over the bridge. Sure did. Just drove into New Jersey. Y'all probably like it. This point, girl moved to New Jersey. I would. But... They don't have a lot of nice stuff in New Jersey. Um, I actually lived in Cherry Hill for a little bit. You guys might not know that about me. So all my little Cherry Hill girlies. I feel like I run into the most subscribers in Jersey. And obviously, like, a lot of people from Philly are over here, too. Because it's not far. Like, I think when I say I'm going to, like, a whole new state to go to Target. It's literally right over the bridge. <laughs> like, it's, it's, like, 25 minutes. So it's the same thing as driving anywhere else. Um... There's a cop. You guys see the car's not moving. Like, this is traffic, traffic. I see a white SUV. Um, it has cop lights on it. But he's stopping all the cars from going. So, like, why are y'all beeping? There's nothing we could do. Um, I was on the phone that entire time. Turns out, 
I now have meetings every day this weekend. That was not on my bingo card, but one of them's at the strip club, so no complaints for me. No complaints for me. Um, currently, just got to Walmart. It's 12 o'clock. So I don't have that much time, so let's go. I'll probably only do Walmart today since it seems like that's all I can do. Um, and it looks like everything else is going to have to wait, but... Let's go, let's go, let's go. I feel like I didn't get a lot of stuff, but apparently I did. I spent $139 in Walmart. So I got some washcloths, the rough ones, um, because I already got some soft ones from Home Goods. I got some drawers for hard. These were so cute. They're like neutrals. And I feel like the ones at Target, like they don't change that often. So she always has the same ones. So I just picked her up those. Um, she asked me for some color pencils. So I got her. Oh crap, these are erasable. I thought they were regular, but I got her pack of color pencils with erasers and then the skin tone ones. Like, it only took them 27 years to decide that our people shouldn't be peach. Now kids got skin tones, and they got every color. When I when I used to color a person, my person used to be this color. That's neither here nor there. Um, I picked up this baby stuff because... I've never seen this in Target. I feel like sometimes you go to Walmart thinking like, oh, it's Walmart. Like, because, you know, we're like, oh, Team Target, Target, Target. They be having way more stuff sometimes. Like, all of the free to baby stuff, tar well, that Walmart be having. So, I saw the Suave Baby. I know my baby not a baby no more. So he grow he'll grow me in. But I wanted to try it anyways because he, <laughs> girl, he has a whole heart attack if um, soap go on his eyes. So, I picked him up. The Suave Baby Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. It has coconut oil, chamomile, and shea butter. His hair has been um, feeling like a little dry lately. So, I got him those. Um, and there's no parabens, fragrances, or dyes. And they were only like $3.98. I feel like that was a good price. You guys know the last time I went to Target, I picked him up the... The n and -N? I don't know, the Target brand. It wasn't our favorite, but like we used the whole thing. I did like how big the containers were, but... Whatever. I don't mind the packaging on that as well. And then I also picked him up the, the Tangler hair cream because his, his hair does get super tangled in the back because he sleeps on his back. And then I got um, the head to toe wash. I actually think I got their whole line, yeah. I got the curling buttercream. Right now he's using the Shea Moisture one. It's not my favorite. I feel like it leaves his hair a little crunchy. Um, so I got that one. And I thought I got the lotion. Um, and then I went in the kids section because their kids stuff is actually like very hit or miss. I always like to browse through. You okay? So I got him this little sweatshirt, just a plain sweatshirt to throw on. Um, I got him this black, is it black or gray? I think it's black. This was only $3.98. Little simple t-shirt. This is, it's by the stuff Granimals. Every time I go on Target, I do, I mean Target. Every time I do go on Walmart, I do look at their stuff. Um, and then I got him... A couple white t-shirts because these are $2.98. Girl, I be buying them at Zara for like $9 and all he does is get them dirty. So, sign me the hell up for these. And I like the cut of them and everything. Just a standard white t-shirt. So, I got him a 24 months. And I got him a 2T. 2T looks huge. Um, and then I got him a pair of like these little gym shorts because now that it's getting warmer. Like when he goes to my dad's house and stuff. Like because he plays outside. I like to just send him with like little sports boy clothes like this so these were 2.98 too come on walmart i got her a little wife beater for 2.98 this is a size medium i think i got her two yeah i got her two of those um my daughter do not know how to keep a white t-shirt clean like um it stresses me the hell out and then i saw this little cute skirt i got the lotion on it for enzo but it's okay um it's just a little skirt thought that was super cute. I'm going to take the hanger off because it's taking up space in my baggy bag. So I got them that. And then I picked up a whole bunch of these wax cubes. I used to be a wax cube girly. Um, and then I don't know why I just stopped. But I saw these on TikTok that these pink ones glow. Smell like Baccarat. It's vanilla, pear, and coconut. Meanwhile, I'm on the phone with the agency talking to them, smelling these at the same time. They're probably like, making all this noise in the phone. It does. You know what it reminds me of? It doesn't necessarily... Smell like Baccarat. It reminds me more so like the the Ariana Grande, um, almost maybe even the Billie Eilish because it has that vanilla in it. But it does smell very, 
very nice. So I got four of them. I bought all of them. <laughs> I bought all of them. And I like wax cubes because one cube, they last for a while. And these are cheap. These are like $2. Um, Walmart does have the better ones of these. And then I picked up Balance. This one is Basalm Mahogany and Musk. This one is very musky. It reminds me of Mahogany Teakwood, the candle. So I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Um, I got two of these. The only thing I wish they sold bigger packs of these, like the line dried linen I just told you about. They sell like a bigger, like a, basically a double of these for four dollars, whereas these you have to buy them every time. So I got that stuff. Let me put all this junk back. And then Harper's teacher was like, oh, we're running low on paper towel and Clorox wipes. Like, if anybody could give us some or whatever. Okay, cool. So, I knew that and I was planning to buy some. But I just haven't been to the stores because it was raining all week. And I told Harper, I was like, oh, does your teacher still need stuff? She's like, yeah, I already told my teacher that she'll get it. Girl, now this volunteer me to go to the store. So, they're getting some great value paper towel because not in this economy and then the last thing i got though were these glass like candle canisters they were in the candle section i just thought these were so cute i wish there was one size in the middle so they could stack like in the middle of a table or something but they only had these two and i didn't want to get i probably should have got another one of this size because i could at least put it on the other side damn should i go back I don't know, I can go to another target. And they also had it, like, in this, like, dark gray, which I thought was really nice. But I just opted for the clear. But I thought they looked so pretty with the candle inside of it. Um, so, yeah. I just got these. I think they were pretty affordable, too. Like, I think this one was $6. And I think this one was, like, 8 Which is why I got them. Because you don't find stuff like this for that price. And that's all I really got, honestly. A whole bunch of random stuff that I did not need. But sometimes, you know, when I'm not, like, feeling my best mentally, like I am past week i just need me to do dumb stuff like this like to just get it out my system and then i had, i don't feel better but at least i got out the house because i would have just been in bed by now um so yeah all right we're gonna go get heart from school i'm gonna see if she wants to run a target so i could get wax warmers for those things walmart didn't have any nice ones but i know target has nice ones but i was not going to this target y'all know i wasn't going to this target in cherry hill it wasn't freaking happening captain so I'm going to see if she wants to go when she gets out of school. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for my day. Harp and I are in Target. If she's driving me crazy. Or I don't know who invited her on my Target trip. Because she literally just skedaddled and hopped in the car. Whoa, 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 whoa there. What are you doing? But we're at Target. We just were sniffing. The salt air. Um, Can we get a lollipop? What is a lollipop? A what lollipop. are these? A olipop? They're not called lollipops. These are so cute, aren't they? Bite-sized pancakes. Can I try these for Enzo? You think he'll like them? Yeah. Home stuff at Target has been so cute lately, but I haven't been buying any of it because I just don't know what the vibes are. This is cute. I like this little bowl. Where is this big old bowl going? I don't know, but I feel like it's a nice apple banana bowl. How much is it? It's only $25. That's not bad, but I have no idea where it would go. Like, none whatsoever. This is a nice. What is this? What does one need a padded box for? <sighs> this Target is not nearly as chaotic as the other one. No, it's because it's attached to the shirt. The shirt has the price. These are cute. These are actually... It's because the price is on this one. Because it's a set. Put it back. You don't have a baby. I wish these were bigger because I would buy them. Because I'm too lazy to make art for the house. Because that's actually really nice. Room sprays. Why are half of these... Half empty. What the hell? Because people be using it. I don't think people use that much of a room spray in the store. These would be so cute in the thing I just bought earlier. I wonder how much these are. They're probably our arm and a leg, no one target. Oh, and I, I'm getting these 
I think. If I don't want them, I'll just return them. But I was thinking these for like flour. Did I just correct it? For flour, sugar, rice, and then something else. I don't know. Follow along, but okay. I got this one. This one's a wax warmer and a candle warmer. Ow. And I saw that they had this one online, which is cute. So I think I might get this one for Harper's Room. I already have that at home. Um, you want this for your room so it can smell good? I bought the thing there in the car already. Um, I need another one. They had one that's really nice online, but like, who has time to wait for things? This one's not bad. Oh, this is a diffuser. What are you doing over there? I don't like one of these ones. I think I'm gonna get two of these one for the hallway one for harp's room all right i'm home from target i just ended up getting my like, groceries and that little stuff that i showed you um but i came home to some packages i got a package in from necessary thank you so much to them for always sending me stuff i do have a 10 percent off discount code if you guys ever want anything from the site i'll put it on the screen for you and i'm not sure if they're doing it right now um, but occasionally they do do like when you make a purchase they'll send you like a free body serum or a lotion but they sent me the scrubber and I'm so excited because this one matches the bathroom at the new house. So how cute is that going to be? I need to buy some acrylic shelves actually for that bathroom because it has a niche. I mean, that should, the niche should be enough space. I don't know. I kind of have to see the bathroom. But they sent me the scalp serum. This is my second one and I actually do really like this serum. Um, when I do like everything shower, oh crap, and I wash like the hell out of my hair, I do apply this in and I like it because it doesn't, I'm not going to pull it out. It doesn't like feel like there's anything in my hair. You guys know I don't use hair products. So when I put this in and I let it air dry or I blow dry it, it never makes my hair feel um, heavy or weigh it down. That's the same thing or make it feel oily quick. So it's a sticker fuller, healthier hair, biometric peptide and hyaluronic acid. So I do use this one quite often. My other one is probably like halfway gone. Um, but I really, really like that stuff. And then... I'm so tired. I just got pooped out of nowhere. I ordered something from Messi the other day because this girl posted this dress on her and I was like, oh, that's so nice. But apparently the dress has been sold out for a while. So I had a back in stock notification and as soon as it came back in stock, I ordered it. It's in a large because they didn't have a medium. So who knows if it's going to fit. But it looks like this. And it just looks so nice on her. But I did want the large anyways because I wanted it to be a little bit long. You guys know I, my biggest pet peeve is when like skirts and dresses that are long aren't floor length. Like if it hits you like above your ankle bone, it like pisses me off. So I do like getting stuff like this in a large. Um, but I thought this would be so nice like on a beach vacation. And if I recall correctly, she had hers like draped almost like this. I forget. Um, I'm going to try this on really quick. But, yeah, that's all I got in the mail. I'll link this down below. And, by the way, my skin is starting to settle down. Like, not so much active acne, but lots of scars, as you guys can see. It's not the end of the world because it's on the sides of my face. So, because I wear my hair down so much, it does cover it. I'm not going to touch it because, obviously, my hands are dirty. But it's smooth. Like, everything's kind of flush. There's not as much... Um, like active bumps if you guys saw the come to target with me video you could see how irritated my skin was and i was breaking out really bad but now everything's going away i told you guys i was using the sulfur soap and when i used the sulfur bar soap so in the morning i wash with my regular la roche and i wash my face for like 60 seconds and then i go in with the sulfur i lathered over really like has a really good lather and i put that on my skin i um you know scrub that in for a little bit and then i just let it sit on my skin while i brush my teeth and stuff and like water floss um and floss and then when i'm done doing my dental care i then take it off um it does leave like a little bit of like a dry stripping feeling but not too bad like not unbearable and then i just go in with my regular la roche moisturizer like i haven't been really using any skincare i just been waiting for everything to settle down you guys saw my skin was purging and that just comes along with it it happened the last time too oh my god my slippers are coming off so i'm letting the like the last little bit of acne dry up and go away and then i'm going to start trying to lighten all of these marks and stuff um so yeah 
every day I wake up, I'm just like, please let me know my skin's better. Like, I just cannot deal with the active acne anymore. Like, I just cannot. Um, but yeah, I just got home. I'm kind of pooped. So I'm going to de decompress a little bit. Um, and then once I shower and get in bed and get my glass of wine and my grapes going, we're going to watch Love is Blind, The Weddings. Because if you're on TikTok spoiling it, like, damn, you could at least give the rest of us, like, four days to watch it. Like, they were spoiling it the first day. I already know who did and who, who did get married, but I still want to hear the speeches. So, yeah, when it's time to watch Love is Blind tonight, I'll be back. I have to do that, though, like, when Angel goes to bed. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I look, I hate my hair pulled back. Like, I absolutely detest it. It's 7 o'clock on the th I'm in my truck to cruise the streets. Ooh, -wee. Real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. I pull up anticipate. <laughs> you already know what time it is. Just put my kids to sleep. Now, it's time to wine, dare with Asia. <laughs> Not having a wine opener is so, so janky. My face looks so shiny because I put my pill on so we can start taking care of these dark marks because these dark marks are not it. All right, we're in club bed. Let's put on Love is Blind. I'm kind of hot, but I can't. I mean, I guess I could. What did I even do with the remote for that? I can't turn on my remote. I mean, what? I can't turn on the fan because then y'all ain't going to really be able to hear me. But, like, I'm hot, so I'm going to put it on low. Can you drop it low, low, low to the flow, 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 flow? All right, ladies and gentlemen, can we get a drum roll, please? Oh, I'm so excited. I started watching it last night, and then I was like, no, 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 no. This cannot be how I watch it. So now we're gonna do it. We're gonna tune into the wedding, even though freaking TikTok spoiled half of it for me. I'm at the part where Jimmy was telling Chelsea, "Yeah, I'm not going to the altar." Big ups to Jimmy, my guy. Ten toes down, standing on the ground. Cheers, besties. Shout out to the single moms. We're, we're this close, this close to overconsuming alcohol, but it's okay because I'm right here with you, sis. Oh my God, here comes the baby boys. Wait, when you propose to me? You could tell Chelsea ain't from Philly. Because if, if he was talking to a girl from Philly like that, ma, 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 all in his face. Didn't stand a chance. If it was me, swing first, talk later, second. Like <laughs> See, Clay is sassy. The friend with the bucket hat, with the thing popped up and the glasses. Birds of a feather flock together. Does he have a bandana around his neck? Friends, we're in bed together. Ew. It's more than most people could say. <laughs> yeah. Could y'all buy a car without test driving it? I'm key keen internally because it's like. I could do the whole show, the whole pod, fall in love, get proposed to, but this ending element of going to the altar and not knowing if I'm going to be the one that says yes and some man's finna say no to me, I don't think my ego could handle that because I might just take my shoe off and throw it at you. Like, I don't think I could stomach it. And because like some of them really be leading each other on and at the last minute just be like, nope, Nope, sorry, I can't. Like, what if I said yes and he looked me dead in my eye and said no? I don't know. I don't think it would be pretty. I don't think it would be pretty, so. Okay, Louboutins. Oh, AD, how you crying? The gates ain't open yet. Oh, yeah, AD's gonna say yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all he knew though how to do is talk about her body. <laughs> Look at you, you got that shit on. If a man ever say that to me, I'm turning around, I'm leaving. <laughs> I 
I hate Clay. He's not gonna say yeah. You can tell by his face he already knows. A B is so genuine. Trevor's like, what do you see in my son that don't nobody else? Because I don't think that those things are accurate. What's gonna happen? I'm scared. I'm scared. How? I do not. This is bad. He hit her with a speech. His mom. His mom is like, you just like your dumb ass daddy. A D, rip the chain off, rip the chain off, rip the chain off. Throw it in his face. Rip the chain off. Drop the mic. My sister's crying. Do you guys notice too? This was the first time that we've seen a bride get rejected and like her family leaves with her. Like her mom and her sister said, oh, F that. I ain't sitting here. You ain't got to make no speech to us. You don't want her? We out of here. I like that. And I feel very, I feel very sad that the mom was sorry because I feel like in that situation, you could realize not that where she fell short, but like where her son falls short. And the way that Clay falls short is because he's just like his dad. Like he's a, just like his dad. He's so emotionally immature. And like, if that's the case, why would you go on this show? You're clearly not open to falling in love. Look at the blind leading the blind. Trevor leading Clay. Um, am I seeing right? Does his dad have a, fr a frat pin on it? Because if so, that explains a lot. I'm not saying they all like that. But they do be fuck boys. They do be. Struggles with a marriage. With commitment. Okay. With a marriage. Okay. Come on, Margarita. <laughs> you know we love a good margarita, but that's a person or a drink. All of those emotions out of sore are in position. Look at Margarita. That's a smart woman right there. That's why Trevor was cheating. There was too much, too much woman. Too much woman. I was just about to say that just because you come from a broken family doesn't mean you need to break your family. Can we get a round of applause for Miss Rita? Miss <laughs> Rita, if you sell an ebook, I'm going to buy it. He wants to be in a long-term relationship. He wants that. Tell me somebody like you. Huh? I met you. You know, tell me somebody like his mom. Yeah, but you still cheated on you her. You met me, but you wasn't good to me. I like Miss Rita. Miss Rita is me. Miss Rita is a smart woman. We won't talk about that anymore. Talking about find him a woman like you. And you had a good woman and did her dirty. Hence why y'all not married no more. Happy Friday, friends. I'm currently... <coughs> clearly about to croak. I am um, just finishing up here in the office. I just did my makeup because today is content day. So I'm going to go try on a couple outfits. Figure out which one I'm wearing first. Figure out which one I'm taking the picture in after that. Figure out accessories. How to switch my hair up so it don't look like it's the same day. And I'm going to go get that done because I have a Instagram sponsorship with PLT to fulfill. I'm a little late on it, but it's okay. Um, I told them what happened earlier this week, so it is what it is. Can't win them all. Life is gonna life, even for the influencers. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go try on the first outfit. I think I'm gonna do my new favorite gray sweatpants and this coat I got, and I think a sunglass and maybe a, a cat. I don't really know yet. And then the second one, I'm going to do another sweatsuit. And then I'm going to try to get a nighttime outfit in that mix. So, we'll see. Let's go. I'll show you guys the first look. It looks so bright because I have all these lights on. But, 
yeah, come on, let's go work. Yay, us, yay. Steph is coming to help me. Steph, I know I tell you this all the time when it's just me and you, what I'm gonna tell the world. Girl, I appreciate you. You are the bestest, best friend anybody could ever hope for. Shout out to Steph. Steph is always down to help your girl out in her free time. And I love that for me, that I got a friend like Steph. Um, and I hope you guys have a friend like Steph too. But alright, let's go get dressed because she said she's on her way and I'm just sitting here listening to Chris Brown. So, there's that. And I listened to the new Ariana Grande album. I'm not gonna lie, the whole thing sounded like one song. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I need to eat something too. I'm like starving. Wow, it's dark. We got to La Colombe in Fishtown because we want to try these new drinks. And then I'm going to secure my first OOTD of the day. And I got my other two outfits in the backseat of Steph's car. So let's go, friends. What are you getting? I want to try the oat strawberry. Strawberry thing. It's me getting out the car the whole time. Don't got my wallet. Do I got my wallet in this bag? I don't think I have my wallet at all. Oh, I have my pocket. I'm going to say dropping. I was picking up everybody's tip. <laughs> Steph was gonna take me home to get the wallet. Like, uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> How you not gonna bring the wallet? We're going to lock. I've never been in here. People say it's really, really cute. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Sorry. I think I wanna try it. That's not bad. For two years. It's not bad. I don't even think I'll need them that long. Alright, we finished with the first set. A little weakling over there, I see. Steph brought us some cookies to try. This is so cute. That's a nice, that's a nice container. That's a nice microwavable container. Those chocolates don't look good. I'm finished with the first pick. Now I'm about to change my outfit real quick in the car. Get it done, get it done, get it done. I got a strawberry oat. What's it called? Strawberry oat sun draft, draft, draft latte. Um, and we're about to taste these cookies. Oh sugar, the absolute best cookies ever. <laughs> Is that how they bake? <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah, you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they from? Oh sugar. I need Sexy Red to release her new song. You went on a date here too with your other friend. Mikhail Lil? Yeah. I can't see you, girl. Hold up. See, they have like the little street ones. I wonder if it's open now. Should we see? It doesn't matter. You're just going to sit in the chair. Are you ordering something? Ooh, we need a glass of wine. <laughs> and that's going to work. <laughs> I changed back into my first outfit. And we stopped to get a drink really quick for a hard day of work. So hang out with us while we get some to drink real quick. We're at, where are we at? Set no lips, set no lips. That's where we're at. Why is it so dark? Oh my God. I'm going through all my pictures. We do a contest to see who can drink it the fastest. All right, let me catch up. I would win. Huh? I would win. I bet you guys are looking at the date on the screen like, girl, where the hell have you been? Um, quite honestly, like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, by the way, right now I'm on my way to Jersey to go to Costco. I'm probably gonna fill up my tank at Costco and then probably stopping at a car wash because my car is trifling and it's so nice outside. It's like 70 degrees for the rest of the week in Philly. So anyways, um, if I had to be honest, <laughs> which I'm gonna be as always but it's not something I like I don't it's not really something that I want to talk about because I feel like 
not that it's a dumb reason like to disappear and like to be all in your feels but um i don't know you guys know sometimes i just don't like to like complain about like the smallest things in life anyways i took a couple of days off um and took them to myself because like my my love for myself just has been very low unfortunately and um you guys know yeah i know so you guys know i was breaking out so bad like when i came back from aruba it was giving more so dermatitis um and that's not something i really experience often so i was trying everything i could think of to get rid of it nothing was working it was like i would wake up and it would feel like it went down but like throughout the day it progressively got worse and like dermatitis obviously like that's you can see that through your makeup like all the bumps and stuff so it's not like oh it's just flat scarring i can wear makeup and my skin is gonna look super super smooth it's not and then after the dermatitis i just started like breaking out bad like usually you guys know when i had um before i got my skin together i would break out like almost like cystic acne like cystic fungal and bacteria acne Oh my god, I'm so hungry. And when I got it to go away, I would have breakouts, but they would be like so tiny. They would go away in a day or two. Um, like they were barely red. They didn't really scar. You guys know, like I, it took a lot for me to get to where my skin was. Um, and after every bit, it just all went to shit. Like I'm not even gonna lie, went to shit. So what's wrong? With what? Okay. So, I kept coming on the vlog every couple of days, and I was like, oh, it's getting a little bit better, which it was. It appeared to be getting better. Obviously, there was still a lot, a lot of scarring. Basically, it, what's the matter, Zoe? Any breakout that I had scarred. Small, big, huge, they all scarred, and it has killed my self-esteem so bad because, and it's like, I know it's normal. I used to go through this, but once you have like clear skin with minimal breakouts and i'm talking like i would do my makeup and my makeup looked amazing on my skin i have been struggling so bad right now with my self-esteem and it is one of those things that that can make you go into like a depression when you're just not feeling yourself like that um it didn't matter what i was like i've been eating clean all i do is drink water um, I've been doing every skincare thing you could think of and it just nothing was helping so I do have a dermatology appointment tomorrow because I was like if it's bacteria maybe I just need an antibiotic like I don't freaking know at this point I don't the last time I tried an antibiotic for acne I didn't really do nothing except make me work out even more but we'll see what she says tomorrow um I ordered a couple things from Amazon that I'll show you guys when we get home I got like a cleanser that was like super like basically more deep cleaning um i ordered like some panoxyl i ordered a new toner like i'm like maybe i need to like switch it up because i do know that like s sometimes skincare could also be like how shampoo is for me like it could be really good and it could really really work but like your body does adapt to it every so often so you do need to switch it up sometimes um so yeah i don't know i just have honestly like not I've been real damn bad for real and it just is one of those things like especially because my job involves me coming on the camera right like I don't want to come on here when I'm feeling like so insecure and I don't even want to look at the camera and obviously like you guys don't see it as bad as it is in person but yeah I just really have been feeling like crap like I just have been so harsh on myself like I wasn't doing my hair that, that made it worse y'all know my hair be looking absolutely bonkers so that was not helping my cause whatsoever. But guys, look at this baby. He is a little ham. Say, like, what was I doing, so? Go shh. Dude, slow down. Slow down. Oh, you're mean. They don't got no vacuums. Well, forget you two then. Bye. All right, we finished in Costco. We spent. I think $203. Um, oh, Drake, you're too loud, babes. We're going to get copyrighted, Drake. Um, but yeah, we spent $200, but $60 of that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to post it. Well, anyways, I got a Beast Blender set. You guys know, when Beast first came out, I bought the blender for like $120 or something like that. And it's just the blender. Costco has the Beast set in white. 
I hate pulling into car washes in white and it was like 10 pieces it's like the blender two different cup sizes the nozzle the whole shebang so I got that for $60 I got these two throw pillows they were only 18 they're like white and woven um they were really nice I mean if I don't end up using them but I was like I'd be the dumbass looking for it because they're huge I'd be the dumbass looking for pillows again and then um Costco won't have them and then um what else did I get I got some food like some yogurts for harp I got some um grapes I didn't eat a lot oh I got the just beer nuggets for my chick-fil-a salads that I make at home the cop salads and then um I got a pack, a pack of towels because the pack of towels was like six towels for $26 and I already have them and they're like really really good quality so I got those but now we're at the car wash and then we're gonna vacuum the car and stuff <laughs> what's happening bud are you at the car wash are they cleaning this car for you like the king that you are they clean it, clean it, clean it. Are you ready? You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Whoa. That's so cool, buddy. You see all the soap? <gasps> oh, my windshield wipers on great. They was on automatic. Whoa! Help me understand how you speak you lovely way. Let me turn the air down in case you guys hear it. Um, happy Thursday, friends. Oh my gosh, the SD card has four minutes on it. I don't have my other SD card. What do I do? What do I do? Anyways, it's Thursday. Currently at Harper's orthodontist appointment. She's inside. Um, I'm in the car with the Zoster. He, last time I took him in there being nice, he was all over every woman, y'all. Like, getting carried, giving hugs, giving kisses. Never again. Walking all over the damn office, upstairs, downstairs. And I was like, you're embarrassing. You're freaking embarrassing like if no home training was a person it's that kid um so we're sitting in the car while she does her Crozac adjustment um and then it's 77 yes you heard me right it's 77 degrees outside i'm itching to be outside y'all know i haven't like gone out um in almost like a month and a half so i think i'm gonna step outside today um because I just, 77 degrees, sign me the hell up. And it's not going to be nice next week. And I won't be able to go out next week anyways. Because um, I'm getting my chemical pill on Tuesday. So my skin will be peeling. But I had a dermatologist appointment today. And she prescribed me an antibiotic. So I need to go pick that up. Because we got we got to get this skin together, okay? I need to lose weight. I need to clear my skin up. And my birthday is in like three weeks. How the hell am I supposed to do all that? I don't know. So this is what i got yesterday at costco y'all 60 dollars around the costco it was like 69 but 60 dollars 70 dollars for all this when i got my beast blender i only got this for like 120 99 something like that that's not including tax but it came with this this one this one three lids two spouts two lids for the 70 dollars got that love the white um so yeah, like, I mean, if you've been wanting this blender, that's just, that's enough right there to get this $60 membership, get this, and just never pay for it ever again. But we're going to go to the house, unload the car, go home, I'm get dressed. I work pictures to take anyways, so I'm going to go do my makeup, and then I'll come back on the camera when I have room on my memory card. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Friday day. It's Friday day. Friday. <laughs> take two. Hey guys, it's Friday. We made it outside again. It's me, Steph, and Ams. Yeah, We're getting something real quick because I'm starving. I might perish. I'm so hungry. I know. Is anybody going to be nice enough to let us go? Um, yeah, we're about to eat. We're in Maniac. We're on Main Street. <laughs> I've never been down here. My legs is cold. I've never been this taller. This much taller than me. Like, what the? What? 
I think the lining of my dress is up my back. I was. I was. You said what? Literally, <laughs> it feels like my booty's up. I gotta open a door for you. Yeah, you already got me out here. Like, no ties of her. Oh, I gotta open the door for you too. Goddamn. <laughs> what they got for us? We're at Soma and Mania. We're vibing. You wanna say hi, Amber? <laughs> Steph, you wanna say hi? Steph doesn't wanna say hi, guys. That's right. I feel like this whole vlog is me coming on talking about hey friends long time no see but hey friends long time no see child it is saturday night it is 9 32 yeah hold on because if i go to edit and all i hear is me chewing some goddamn gum i'm like Asia, you're disgusting but it's 9 32 um uh, i'm currently on my way to pick up amber it's been an amber and asia weekend love that for me and my friend um Go ahead and pick her up. And we're probably just going to go somewhere, get like some espresso martinis, something super chill, whatever. We both just didn't want to waste our Saturdays. I ain't got no kids. I was just going to stay in the house and sleep. And I was like, Adrian, you're going to regret that. Um, So I got up. I literally just woke up, though, at like 7 o'clock. I slept in today, too, until like 11 or 12. Um, And I went to Home Depot. I had to get some stuff for the house that was not on my to-do list to spend like freaking six hundred dollars on it i think my total was like 582 or something like ridiculous it was not on my my bingo card for the day got home was starving got some chick-fil-a delivered um and then took a nap i was watching the show on apple tv the abraham lincoln one and i was like wait but that's not how abraham 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 lincoln was assassinated so i was like is this like not accurate with what really happened so then i just fell asleep anyways um I took a nap for like two hours which i feel like i needed like when i woke up today even though i slept a lot last night is it gonna focus on me um my eyes were so heavy like it was like i almost thought it was my um my um allergies that like my eyes were that type of heavy but when i woke up i was fine so i was like you know what i'm gonna go get something to eat go get me a drink and see kind of where the night takes us. I'm not dressed like at all. It's crazy because yesterday me and Amber got dressed. Like we both had, had on black mini dresses and everything. And we just didn't do anything. We went to the W and we just sat there in the one spot the whole night. So today, watch it be like a great night when we're not dressed. But that's fine because I'm cute dressed now. So yeah, um, we're just going to go do that. I'm going to take you guys. I'm trying to take you guys along with me because imagine making it a two-week vlog and not a goddamn thing happened. Hopefully, I have time to edit tomorrow um, before the vlog goes up because I have to go to my dad's to get Enzo, but my dad's also going to change the oil in my car. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to my stepma because I like, I listen, if I could just get like one weekend to myself a month, I think that I would be an exceptional, exceptional mother. I'm a great mother. But if I think I had one weekend to just reset and be Asia with no kid like responsibilities, I think I'd be exceptional. I think that we all deserve like those little breaks. Um, what is that? But yeah, I'm gonna go get Amber and then I'll see you guys when we're going somewhere, when we're somewhere we're at. People in Philly drive like absolutely insane. Like it's kind of crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much all that the vibes are tonight. Sorry if this vlog is not like that amazing, but quite honestly, in my defense, I haven't done that thing. Like, I've been just so busy trying to knock off things on a to-do list for the house. Because I think within, like, the next couple weeks, we're going to just make the move. Um, I don't really know. Or at least start, like, I don't know. Honestly, I'm just kind of taking it day by day. But, yeah, like, nothing really exciting has been going on in my life. And I know you guys are always like, girl, we don't care what you do. But I always be like, damn, like, the vlogs are not interesting. Like, I go watch other people's vlogs from time to time. And, like, people that don't have kids, I'm just like wow your life is so fun and i'm like and then there's me doing target trips 80 times a week going to costco for fun like going to every home goods i could get my hands on but it is what it is um but yeah all right i'm about to be at ambie's house so i will see you guys then um Go past this light. i'm not gonna lie it's always the nights that you don't need to have a good makeup night that the makeup is amazing and let me tell y'all how so my skin has been clearing up thank god and i still have my chemical pill on tuesday i think it's really the scars that mess with my self-esteem um so i get my chemical pill on tuesday and i haven't really had like any active breakouts um since earlier this week ever since i started using new cleansers but i have been like triple cleansing and they
but I want you to stop talking while I'm talking, Siri. Thank you. But yeah, I've been like triple cleansing with like a deep pore cleaning, um, benzoyl peroxide, my La Roche. So that's been good. But yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. I think she wants to go to Harp and Crown or we might go to the Ritz. I don't know. We'll kind of see where the vibes take us tonight. But and what? Why are you putting my business out there like that? Uh, we're at the Ritz. We came to the Ritz. I'm on my second espresso martini, but after this, I'm gonna lay off the espresso because then I gotta. I'm gonna go to bed. Why is it not focused? It's not focusing on my face. There it is. Um, yeah, I'm on my second espresso martini, and we're just having the time of our lives, right, friend? Are we having a good time? What? <laughs> I said, are we having the time of our lives? Oh, yes, yes. What a See. time! What a day to be young and alive. See, mommy. Now I just Spanish. Now <laughs> I just besos. Yeah. Dame un beso. <laughs> like that's what we keep doing this tonight. Um, but yeah, we just ordered some food. We got cheesesteak empanadas, truffle fries, and a burger. Am I Uli right here? This this guy just came up to us. <laughs> And he was like, oh, you guys be outside. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, y'all was out the other day. And I was like, no, we weren't. I said, we never saw you. <laughs> His poor ego. I think he might even left because I don't see the colorful clothes no more. I think, I think he might have left the establishment, y'all. Because I really didn't remember him. But I didn't remember him because he just was some man that talked to me. He didn't remind me. To, Why would I remember you? But after the fact, I had to really think about it. I did remember him, and I was gonna apologize, but I think he was um, sad because he had some friends with him today. He, the friends probably like, not nah, you talking yeah. to some girls that don't remember you. But it's okay. Right. Cheers, friends. <laughs> She's still on her first one. Boom, Amber. Boom. We left the Ritz. We're walking and talking, walking and talking, walk, walking like I talk it. Hey, walking like. <laughs> walking like I talk it. See, this is the union. I promise you, they came from here. I know what this building is. Okay. Look at my shoelaces. Can somebody tie my shoelaces? I'm, about to say, I'm not doing it. I was gonna do it. Is this okay here? Oh. Hey vlog. What's up, vlog? Happy St. Patty's Day. Y'all look cute as fuck. Thank you. You too, girl. Ooh, have fun, y'all. My man's too saucy, Jay. You feel me? What? Oh, too saucy, Jay. Oh man, too saucy, Jay in the country. Where did you come from? The 10K man. I come out of nowhere every time. Oh, look at you. You got the merch. You got the merch. See you at the merch. Listen, y'all go cop up at Too Saucy Apparel. We got the heat, man. We got the heat. The me? Beanies. Asia. 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 Nice to meet you. What are you filming over? It's a vlog. You got a boyfriend? Huh? I do have a boyfriend. Not <laughs> <laughs> spotted in the wild. <laughs> Too Saucy. Why y'all need a bitch? <laughs> um, we love the Ritz. The food, immaculate. The drinks, chef's, chef's kiss. kiss. Who asked for her Yelp review? What? <laughs> but we're walking. She wants to go to the cigar bar, which in my opinion, I just did my hair today. Now my hair, oh. it's okay, we could go. I'm not putting my hair to though. Anything for I you, friend. Anything for you, friend. Girl. As long as when I call you and be like, I'm coming over so you can blow dry and straighten my hair, you answer. That's not but yeah, we're gonna go to the cigar bar real quick. And I think that somebody's gonna be in there that's gonna pay our tab because we just oh, paid so this tab. Our tab was $240. I can wait. I tipped the guy and she said that technically I shorted him, but I wasn't doing the math because I wasn't thinking. And now I feel bad. Now I want to give him some more money. He was so nice though. What was his name? You shook his hand. How don't you know that man's name? Amber's rude. But yeah, we're going to the cigar bar, so. Later, bestie. Hit your Harlem shake. <laughs> Hit your robot. 
It's your Wu Tang. Oh. <laughs> you can't Wu Tang better than me. You can't Wu Tang better than me. You can't Wu Tang better. Okay, hit your D Mac. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's not D Mac. It's a G Mac. <laughs> you got. Dun 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 dun. Who still throws dollar parties in 2024? <laughs> Our generation like invented dollar parties. Child, they might be five dollars now. I don't think they're a dollar no more. They might even be 20. <laughs> like the regular clubs. Okay, we're gonna action. I'm out of breath because I'm fat. I'll see you guys in all my mental. I'm out. I keep on. <laughs> what? Why would you start running? Why would you start running? I'm free. I'm free. No pictures, please. <laughs> we. We finished at Ashton's. I said to my mom's friend, they, they bought our first round. Shout out to you. He said, bro, you don't know me, but I know your mom. Period, Pookie. Well, thanks, mom. Shout out to mom. <laughs> Shout out to mom. I'm, like, I'm so out of breath. You got me walking all over Center City. I don't like that for me. <sighs> but, oh my God, the drinks were so good. I haven't been to Ashton's in a year, but let me tell you all one thing about me. My hair stinks. She smells trifling. She smells like cigars. But we had some marks, we had a shot. And I think now we're going to Winston's. Which, why is she running? <laughs> which we never been to. So let's go. I'm so out of breath, y'all. I don't enjoy walking. Why are you zooming in on me? <laughs> why does my mouth taste like I smoked a cigar? Hold on, I didn't. Ew, that's I thank God I had mouthwash because ew. No, listen, I was running all the smoke. No, I told you it stinks in there. And because there was so many people, usually it's not a lot of people, so you was like, okay, whatever, cool. Then we was right next to a table. That full was of packed. Smokers. Yeah, that was packed. But we're gonna do a little nightcap. So let's see where the night takes us. Call the Uber. Call the Uber. I'm obviously home friends. First of all, one of my nails pop off, but they're old anyways, but whatever. I, I took it off at the end of the night. But, so, me and Ams, me and Ambie, me and Amber, we went to the Ritz, as you guys saw. We came out though, like super late. We probably went outside at like 9.30, because we're old. Um, we went to the Ritz, we sat there till like 12. Got drinks, got food, the food was I haven't been to the Ritz in a really long time. Um, I actually go to the spa in the Ritz. And I used to go there quite often. And then I just stopped. I love the vibes though. Like the, the bar is bigger. But yeah. Anyways. We went to the Ritz. Excuse me. Beyonce fan. Um, we went to the Ritz. And then we went to Ashton's. And I just. It's so funny. Like Amber. Tonight's going to be a good night. And I was like. I just feel it in my bones. And it's crazy. Because every time I don't get dressed. And. I'm just chill. I mean, I have good nights a lot, but like those chill nights to me, I always have the best nights. And I was like, Amber, we're going to have a great night tonight. Because Thursday we had a great night, but I was like, we're going to have a good night tonight. So we went to the Ritz and then we were like, um, let's just walk to Ashton's. I'm not always like cigar bar ready because like your hair stinks, you stink. But we just walked in there. It was actually like really crowded. I don't know if, I think it's because they had like a St. Patrick's Day special. I'm all sliding because my socks. <sighs> I'm home now. I'm about to go wash my makeup off and then um, I'm gonna make me a hot sausage because I'm hungry. Funny thing about me is like if I drink and no matter what time I get home, I just have to eat something. I just have to eat. Like I just cannot go to bed until I eat something. So I'm gonna go make me a hot sausage and then just go right to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this two week vlog. It wasn't supposed to be a two week vlog. But it is what it is. You guys know I'm just going with the flow these days. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much. Um, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're not, like the video and comment. But if you're new here, do that too. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. My birthday is coming up. That's fun. But yeah, I will see you guys in a couple of days. I'm trying to figure out what I want to film for a midweek video. I think I might do a collective haul. But I don't really have that much stuff. But I do have some stuff. But I don't have a lot of stuff. But I might do... Is it my phone? I might do a collective haul. Um... 
or something so let me know what you guys want to see for a midweek video but yeah i love you guys i'm like should i wash my hair it's not terrible but it definitely like cigars just stink <laughs>